Daf Lamed Aleph Amed Aleph. We'll begin Lamed Amed Beis, the very last line of the two dots. Tan Rabban Nun Laod Lamihe Adam An Vashan Kehilah Valye Kapten Kishamai. A person should always be an onav, a humble person like Hillel, and not somebody who is makbil like Shammai. Ma'is b'shnei b'nei Adam. There was a ma'is for two people. Shehim nuzayazad. They made a bet one with the other. Amru kol mi sheyelach v'yaknit as Hillel yitol dal neyazuz. Whoever will be able to provoke Hillel to get him angry, he'll get two hundred four hundred zuz. So the other one will obligate himself to pay four hundred zuz. Amru echem nehem ani yakniten. He says, "I'll take you up on this," and he says, "I'll do it. I'll provoke him." I saw you on that day was Arab Shabbos. I uh, the Hillo Chafes is Rosh. So it was Arab Shabbos, and Hillo was preparing for Shabbos, and he was washing his hair. Halach for Avral Pesach Beis. So so this person passed by the Pesach Beis of Hillo by his doorway. Omer Mikan Hillo Mikan Hillo. Was anybody here? Hillo. Is anybody here with the name of Hillo? Rashi explains that this is particularly uh, humiliating because Hillo was a Nasi Israel. And he pretended like he didn't know he was, and he just called him a lotion of Hillel without addressing him as the Nasi Yisrael. But nevertheless, Nis Atif, he also across a hill, covered himself, he wrapped himself, and he came out toward this person. Amrlai Bani, he said, My son, Matam Levakish, what is your request? Amrlai, he said, Sha'ela Yeshli Lisho, he says, I have a question for you. Amrlai, Shal Bani Shal, he says, Please ask a question. So he says, Rashem shall Bavlim shall Why are the heads of the Bavlim are round? Why are they so round and usually round? He said, You asked a very, very important question. He said, He says, Because the midwives are not experts and they don't know how to deliver the baby properly, and that's why their heads have an unusual, unusual shape. So it was such an honor that this seemingly uh, unimportant, silly question he's asking him, Davke Erev Shabbos, when Hill is getting ready for Shabbos, but nevertheless, Hillel had all the patience and he has answered him in that manner. He waited a period of time. Chazer and he came back and he asked him again. Mikan hill, mikan hillel. So again, he asked it in a way of genai of who's hillel. Nisatif he also the crosser, and he came. Hillel came towards him, came to him. Omerloi bini ma'atam levakish. What do you request? Omerloi shel yeshel lishal. He says, I have another question. Omerloi shal bini shal. Says, please, please ask a question. So he asked me, Ma is. He said, Why are the eyes of the Tormidim, why they're all so small and round? It's a very important question that you asked. So he answered me, because they live in the sands, and therefore, to protect their eyes from the sand, the wind blowing the sand, they have small eyes. And again, he did the same thing, and he asked him, He covered himself and went out, and he said, towards What do you request? I have a question. Please ask. So he asked, Why are the feet of the Africans, why are they so wide? He asked a very important question. He answered, Because they live amongst the marshes, so therefore they have wide feet so they don't sink into the soft land. Or alternatively, another pshat is that they go barefoot so their feet are wider. So this person said to Hill, Shailas harba yeshli nishal. I have so many questions to ask. But I'm afraid that you're going to get angry at me. And he sat before him. told him, Ask whatever you want. So after his Arab Shabbos and the time and it was, it was tight and all these seemingly ridiculous questions and he asked him in Losh and Ganei, nevertheless, he'll had all the patience in the world. Ask whatever you want to ask. 
Amrle, so this person said, Atahu Hillel Shekoyim Eschel Nasi Yisrael. Are you Hillel that people call the Nasi of Yisrael? Amrle, hey, Hillel said yes. Amrle, im Atahu, the person said, if you are the one, if you are he, Lo Yeru Kem Eschel Yisrael, there should not be more like you in Yisrael. Amrle, benim, nima, said, Hillel, said, why? Why are you saying this? Because I lost on account of you, I lost my bet, and I lost 400 zoos. I made the bet that I could provoke you, and I lost 400 zoos. He said, be careful with your ruach, not to get angry, you should always be patient. It's that you should have 400 zoos and another 400 zoos. The way the Marshal explains it, mean not only did he not gain 400 zoos by winning the bet, but he lost the bet and he had to pay 400 zoos. So it's 400 zoos plus 400 zoos. It's worth that you should lose this 400 zoos plus 400 zoos. The hill will yakbet, but he won't be makbet and he won't be provoked and he won't get angry. So the more continues with similar mices with Hillel and Shammai. Tan Rabbanu Maisa ben Nochi Yechad Shabal Lifnei Shammai came as guy came before Shammai. Amr Loi Kama Teres Yesh Lachem. He asked him, "How many Teres do you have?" Amr Loi Shtei. He said, two. Teres Shabik Sava, Teres Shabal Pe. There's two. There's Teres Shabik Sava. There's Teres Shabal Pe. Amr Loi Shabik Sava. Ani Ma'amin. He says, "I believe in your Teres Shabik Sava." Ubshal Pe. Ani Ma'amin. But I don't believe in your Teres Shabal Pe. So he asked, "Be megara me on condition that you teach me Tarsh Shabiksav, not Tarsh Bal Pe." Gar boy, so Shammai got angry at him. It's even as if, and he he removed him with anger, threw him out. Bal if they hill, so this Nachri came in front of Hillel. Guy, Hill was megara him. He was megayer him, even though he only wanted to learn Tarsh Shabiksav. So Rashi explains that normally we're not megayer. A nochri, unless he's makabel kol tarakula, he can't be megayer a nochri with on condition that he's not accepting certain mitzvahs. And here, this nochri wanted to be megayer without without accepting Torah Shabbal Pe, and Hillel was megayer. So Rashi explains that Hillel was confident that he could convince him. Meaning, he saw in this nochri not that he rejected Torah Shabbal Pe because of a certain mida or a certain a kfira. It was out of ignorance. And he was therefore confident that he'll be able to demonstrate to him and show him and convince him. So he was therefore Megayer him on that condition. Yeah, Makama, so one day on Malay, so he'll start to teach this Nokri. He taught him Aleph Beis, Gimel Dalit. He started teaching him the Aleph Beis. So he started Aleph Beis, Gimel Dalit. The next day he reversed the order. He taught him Dalit, Gimel, Beis Aleph. On Malay, so the Nachri protested. He said, Yesterday you didn't teach it that way to me. You taught to me al Beis Gimel Dalet. Amalei, love a lie, did he call samples? Aren't you relying on me for Tarsha Bixab? You're relying on me on totally, totally to teach you what the Aleph base is and what Tarsha Bixab is. So you have to rely on me. So rely on me for Tarsha Bixab as well. You have to, you're putting your trust in me and you have to rely on me, so rely on me for Tarsh Baal as well. So therefore, he was able to convince him. Shuv Maisa ben Nochri, Yachashabal, Yifnei Shammai, another Maisa, Nochri came before Shammai, Amalei Giyarani, Amana, Shalat Hamleni, Kola Tarakula, Tashani Yoymir, Al Regal Achas. Be Megayar me, on condition that you can teach me Kola Tarakula while I'm standing on one foot. Meaning, I want to learn it uh, in an instant. I wanted the quick version of it. The shortened, the bridge version. Teach me to call him Bigarmi. You'll teach me Tara. I'm standing on one foot, instantaneously. Dachva Bama Sabinyan. So Hashamai pushed him out with the ruler that's used for the binyan. With the it's called a ruler. It's ama normally measured. It's measured in ama, and he pushed him with this ruler. The Amas Sabinyan should be out which was in his hand. Baldif Nehil came in front of Hill Al Gera. Hill was Megayrim. Amrloi, so what is that one principle that the Torah rests on? Whatever is hateful to you, do not do to your friend. Zuhi kola terakula. This is called terakula v'idach pirushu. The rest is a pirush of the zil gemor. Now go learn. Now go learn the rest of the Torah. So Rashi explains that we can understand this in terms of mitzvahs 
dvorim that are between Adam Lachavera. So the basic foundation of, of all of the Isurim and the mitzvahs of Adam Ben Lachavera is whatever is hateful to you, whatever is you hate, don't do to your friend. So that's the foundation. Now the protim, the details are in there in the mitzvahs and the Isurim. That's embedded in the mitzvahs and Isur. But how is that Ben Adam Lamakim? How does that include those that have been out on Maka? So Rashi explains that well, the m- many, many things in the Torah are revolving around being out on Machavera, so that is a good part of the Torah. Additionally, Rashi says that this includes being out on as well. What is hateful to you, you don't want that people that don't listen to you, and you don't, it's hateful for you when you do good and you do kindness to people and they repay you and they repay you without appreciation, without listening to you, and without returning in kind. So therefore, Bein Adam Lamakayim, it's the same principle. The Rabbani Shalom did all, showed all this chesed and kindness and nisim and floys for us. He gives us commandments and we should not listen to him. What's hateful to you, don't do to your friend. And this, in this context, Chavercha is called Lamakayim, the Rabbani Shalom. Shumayis v'nochri yechet shayag v'nochri beis ha-medrash, it was a nochri pass, by the base of Madras, Shema called Seifer Shayyimer, and he heard that the Seifer was reading from the Torah. The Elaha begonim Asher Yasu. These are the begonim that you make for the Kohen Gadol. Chayshen the Eifoid. So these are these special clothing, the Chayshen and the Eifoid. Omer Halalu Lami. What? Who are these clothing for? Omru the Kohen Gadol. So the answer: These are the clothing that's made for the Kohen Gadol. Amr Aisu Nachri Ba'atzmai. So the Nachri said to himself, "Elach Vizgair Bishul Asher Shimuni Kain Gadol." Well, they're so special. This clothing is so special. I'll go be Megair in condition that they're going to make me into a Kain Gadol. Ba'al Lifnei Shamai came before Shamam like Yeranal Minash to see me a Kain Gadol. Be Megair me on condition that you're going to make me a Kain Gadol again. Dachva Ba'amas Abinyan. So he pushed them out with the ruler. Ba'amas Abinyan should be Yodim. Ba'al Lifnei Hilal. But he came before Hilal Gair and he was Megair. Well, now you want to be kind God all, that's fine. But can you make someone a king and if he doesn't know how to act as a king, he doesn't know what the rules of conduct are, so you want to be a kind God all. Now I have to teach you how to be a kind God all. So he started to learn. Came and she gave Azar a car of Yumas. When it says Azar, as car of Yumas, Azar who comes into the Avoida, who does the Avoida, he comes into the base of Migdash to do the Avoida Yumas. Who is this Zar? Who is this stranger that we're referring to when he says, a Zar, a car of Yumas will be killed? Even on the king, Dabon Melch Yisrael, Legabi, the Avoida, he's considered a Zar, he's considered a stranger to that. So it's also Chayim Misa. No, so he said, "Kal v'chaim rabatsma." So he thought to himself, "Mer kal v'chaim rama Yisrael shenik rabbanu l'makom." Yidden are called banim l'makom, the sons of the rabbanu shlom. And mitoyach avash avam, and because of the love that he had, kal v'chaim bini bechari Yisrael, kal my bechar, ksiv aleim. And nevertheless, it says about the mazara karav yazara karav yumas, and nevertheless, they're considered strangers. And zara karav yumas ger hakal, a simple ger. Shabob and Michael Tarmila, he comes with his walking stick and his money bag. Al Achas Kama Vakama, that he be high of Misa for coming to do the Avoida. So, how can he possibly be the Kain Godel? Only the Kain Godel could go into the Kajay Kadosh and Bold if they show my armor like Klum, Roy, and Ilya is Kain Godel. How can I be a Kain Godel? Well, see, but there was our car of humans. Bold if they heal on the land of Osa and heal on your nuchal or broke Sarai Shech. He says, You, one of you, Humble Hillel, you should have brachas on your head. She karavani tachas kanfei eshchina that you brought me close to the kanfei eshchina. So Shammai the Taina, why don't you tell me? Of course I can't be the kohen gadol. The Hillel said you were so humble and and you had patience with me. You should have brachas al rishach al yom in this gavlu shleish shalomaka mechas. So in these three incidences, these three people, one time they met up with each other. Amr, so Amr they said, Captain Nusa shel Shammai. The Kapdonas, that he was angry in particular and didn't have patience, that almost 
removed us from the world, we wouldn't have been able to be Megayer and to come Tachos Kan Feyashchinah and the Nesusa Shil Hillel Kervano Tachos Kan Feyashchinah. But the Nova of Hillel that brought us Tachos Kan Feyashchinah. So the Novi says, Yeshaya says, after the nace that Rabbi Yishlam made, Neged Sancheriv, and they had this great nace, that they had a Yeshua, that they had a salvation from the threat of Sancheriv's army. So I am Munasi, Yitzhako, Chesin Yeshua, Schachm Vadas. And here is Hashem, He ate Sora. That what will give you the long lasting Yeshua over here. The, the the and preserved for you and the strength for you is Chachma Vadas and Yir Hashem is the Oitzer is the treasure of this Emuna so with more that's Emuna is the Seder Zroim that's a reference to Tyra so referring to Tyra Seder Zroim Seder Zroim is Emuna why is it Emuna so Rashi explains because we rely on the the farmer to be mafish the Trumas and Meisters and all the Matonas and Neem and everything that has to be done, he's relying on that. That's trustworthy, that's a Muna. Taisus explains that it's a Muna, brings down the Yushalmi, that you have a Muna in the Rabbein Shalom. In order to be to be a farmer, to plant, etc., you have to have a Muna in the Rabbein Shalom that he will bring the rains, he will cause things to grow. So the very Zroim, the very uh, Uvda of Zroim that people do this, shows a Muna in the Rabbein Shalom. Itecha, referring to time, is a Seder Moed. That's a reference to Seder Moed, which is time-based, the different time time based on certain times of the year. Chaisen, Chaisen literally means strength, but Chaisen is a Seder in Noshim, which Rashi explains, it's Chaisen from the Noshim of Yuchsen. That Seder Noshim then has to do with Yuchsen, a Yichus, marriage, children, etc., like Yitin. Yeshua is a Seder Nezikin. Yeshua is a Seder Nezikin, which refers to being saved from damages. How do one saves himself from loss and damages? Chacham is seder kachim, and das is seder taharas, and das even a higher level, the intricacies of seder taharas. Vafilahachi, yirs Hashem, yait sorai. But nevertheless, with all of this, chacham, with all the tari, yirs Hashem, if there's a person as yirs Hashem, that preserves it, that's the oitzer for all, that's a storage house, then that'll be the segula for all of this tari. Amma, rova, bisha. Adam Ladin, when they come down ultimately when they bring him to the din, then I'm your Lord. They said in your lifetime, Amuna, did you deal in your business dealings with Amuna? Were you trustworthy? Kavati Dim Latira, did you set aside time for Tyra? Asakta Bapirivya, did you have children? Asakta Piriv, it's a piece of Yeshua, and were you awaiting the Yeshua, the Mashiach, the Chibul Yeshua for what the Navi Murinava, Pilpalta did you learn Ba'amkos and Bi'ion to understand one thing from another? But even if with all of that, if you have Yeres Hashem, that's the Eitzer that will preserve everything, but Eloi, Eloi. But if not, not. It's a marshal the person is said to which then bring me a core of Chitin and put it in the Aliyah to store it in the attic. And that's what he did. Did you mix in with it a kav, a smaller measure of Chumtin soil that is salty, the salty soil that will preserve all of this wheat is chitin. Amr Lailav, he said no. Amr Mutav im loy hel isu. He says, better that had you not brought it up, because you brought it up over there, it's going to get rot, it's going to get ruined. If you don't have the preservative, better that you didn't even bring it there. The preservative for our tire is the year Shemaim. Tonu be rosh mo'al, ma'arev adam kav chumtin bekur shal tfua. A person can mix in this small measure, this kav of chumtin of the soil, with a kur shal tfua of enochayshish. And he doesn't have to worry. I mean, even though the measurement of the actual tvua now is less than a core, because some of it, some has some mixture of the chumtin, it's a kav. So it's really a core less a kav. Nevertheless, he doesn't have to be chayshish that he's overcharging. Because it's understood that you buy a certain volume of tvua, there has to be some preservatives added to it. So therefore, if the purchaser pays for a core, of tua, 
even though there's somewhat less than a core because there's some of the chumten mixed, there's a kav of the chumten, he doesn't have to be worried, he doesn't have to worry that he's cheating the person, the purchaser, because it's understood and this is necessary, the preservative is necessary for the core of tua. so therefore the price is a fair price. Thank you.